Hi everybody, welcome back to Shotlet Family Firewood. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've uh, posted a video or made a video, but uh, we're getting back into the firewood a little bit now. I actually been working pretty hard. I'll show you, um, we got that whole pile of oak cleaned up, uh, put a lot of it into boiler wood, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. I just realized that uh, this camera wasn't uh, recording in hyperlapse and I thought it was. Anyway, I ran uh, two tanks of gas in each saw for the most part. Um, got them all cut up. Uh, the one real big log is over here separated out on the log lift side. Everything else that I can lift. Is here I got one log that I found as I was pushing it up that's not cut I must have been on the bottom I missed it so I got that one cut up but um, we are not going to use the conveyor when we split this up because when I do boiler wood uh, the pieces are just too big for that conveyor and they fall out of there and they wreck stuff and so we're just gonna back that little trailer off the end of this when it's empty and do that I have I did load up one one uh, load in the in the small trailer with the Massey and so we have that to unload up by the uh, boiler wood shed all right and here's a load of all the round wood that I can handle for the boiler and here's our boiler shed it's kind of been our catch-all for everything this year so um, but remember this is going to be for uh, either the tail end of this winter or next winter. Um, hopefully we got that uh, pallet bin down there of, of wood for this winter. So yeah, we'll, we're just starting to fill this up. It's all the cookies and small chunks and whatnot so far but it's time to get it filled up and kind of clean up the wood yard before we bring in a bunch more wood for the winter i think so we'll get started and unloading that trailer here in a minute All right, trailer's empty, as you can see, and we added quite a bit to the pile here, so let's go see, maybe we'll do a little more. Just unloaded load two uh, for the, this oak uh, out of the small trailer, and uh, we're getting a little pile in here, so... Off for another one. Well, I didn't videotape it, but we made the boiler wood. This whole pile of oak uh, is gone, done with. It's kind of all the stuff we cut up at night and uh, whatnot. And it's all done. I think that's the third or fourth load. I guess I don't remember. Third or I think it's the fourth load. And that's the biggest load by far. So uh, now we're going to have to clean up the mess. So we'll do that here shortly. We uh, completely split this pile of standing dead oak we had, all done, um, and we worked on that at night a lot of the time, um, but we got everything stacked up in totes, um, and uh, 
got everything looking fairly nice and clean around here. Um, I think my next project, I might be this pine in here. Otherwise, I may, all that smaller oak over there, may just cut up for the boiler. Um, not sure what my next project's gonna be for sure, but between those two, um, mostly maple over there. Uh, a lot of oak here and maple over there. Um, I think my, oh, I didn't count before I started this, but if I have, those are two deep and a cord each. So there's six cords there. Um, two, three, th uh, two and two thirds cord over there. And basically the same over there. So with what's on the piles, it's like something like 10 cord down here split eight to 10, somewhere in there, if I remember right. I didn't do my math. Uh, total boiler chunks. Got these totes ready for um, all that scrap that was over there in the pile. And we did something today. Uh, we went to an auction and we were able to pick up a new saw, new to us saw. Um, MS260. Um, it's our first steel. It's obviously a discontinued saw. The 261 is what you can buy now, I believe. Um, but this is this came from a guy that had some really nice stuff, and by the looks of his log splitter, his two chainsaws didn't get used much. Um, so we're gonna we took a chance on that. So. Um, fairly equivalent to the size of the, uh, 445 Husqvarna that we currently run. This is a 50 CC, uh, it's got an 18 inch bar on it and we'll take it out here a little while and show you. But right now the boys are sliding in the trailer and they seem to like this. So they were doing it last night and they are doing it again today. So... <laughs> so we'll be back in a little bit and I'll show you that saw. Two things. My first ever steel chainsaw. But also my first pro saw. So we picked up MS-260 um, Pro Saw at the auction. And it looks like it uh, could use a little cleaning up, but it looks like we're in real good shape. Been sitting in oil. I don't know if it's leaking or what, but been sitting in oil. Um, chain's a little loose, but got a halfway decent chain on it. We can sharpen that up and maybe we can try her out. 